everybody, it's Savage of Gandhi here today playing Destiny. It is Zero Day and it is week 46, I believe. Uh, this week he is over by the speaker by the large door. Uh, after last week, people were a little bit salty with him, but I believe this week he'll have everything he's supposed to have. And appease people. I think similar. Alright, we have the Armentarium for the Titan. It's a really good exotic chess piece. I found it most useful for PvP, giving you that additional grenade there. And for the discipline, that gives you better you know, ability recharge on your grenade as well. Uh, for the Hunters, we have the Young Ahamkara Spine. To me, not a very interesting exotic piece. I really don't worry about the duration of my trip mines. Usually I'm throwing them at enemies rather than use it to trap them. So. I've never owned one, and I probably never will. For the Warlock, we have the Starfire Protocol, and just like the Armentarium, it gives us an additional grenade. And for the Fusion Grenade, this is nice to free up that slot on the Sunsinger's perks loadout that will give you the additional grenade. So this allows you to use for grenades to burn, or the uh, Angel of Light, I believe is what it's called, where you can jump and aim and stay in the air. Another good piece for PvP. I think having more grenades the better. Uh, we do have an exotic weapon this week, Patience of Time, the Arc Sniper Rifle. This is probably going to be a lot more appealing to people with the Icebreaker issue coming up with the addition of 3 seconds on the recharge time. Uh, I wouldn't say it would completely replace it, but it will probably be a pretty good parallel now. And the most appealing thing to the sniper rifle to me is the stability. It's very easy to land critical shots in a consistent manner. And with the custom optics, you know, makes your view a little bit better and the stability is great, but the stability is already pretty high. And with field scout it gives you up to six rounds. And when you have the oh yeah, here we go, the CQB ballistics that already maxes out your stability, so fitted stocks really kind of unnecessary after that. Uh, you get the third eye, which keeps your or your radar active when you're aiming down the sights, which is really nice if you're using snipers in PvP. It gives you more situational awareness, and even if you're using a sniper rifle in a nightfall or weekly heroic with light switch, and you want to keep tabs on anything that's around you. And for the patience and time perk, you get active camouflage while aiming down the sights. I found this to be really useful with my hunter. When I'm running the Abyss solo, and I'm using as much to keep myself invisible as possible, just aiming down the sight is another perk to keep me out of the sight. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We have an exotic shard as usual, exotic chest engram this week. So for those who want to get purifier robes, there's your chance. Now we have fusion rifle telemetry, machine gun telemetry, and rocket launcher, ah, rocket launcher telemetries. Uh, we also have the plasma drive and a stealth drive. I have personally never purchased one of these, so I don't see the benefit of doing that. Uh, we have heavy ammo synth ah, synthesis, words are very hard apparently, and we have our mode of light. So this is Zer Week 49. I hope to be here again. Has everything he needs. Pretty good loading out this week for people who are wanting discipline and the additional grenades. Here. Do so, not fear me. Thank you for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe and look out for some more videos when by me. Thank done. you.